Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, so me is back with uh, finally her actual comeback because like the previous ones were just pre-releases. I, I don't remember ever seeing so many pre-releases before. Like, I feel like it's a, quite a new thing. I mean, for, on the top of my head right now, I, I can't remember any like second group gen or like even third group gen doing stuff like this. And even then the only artist that comes to my mind when I think of like pre-releases might just be like Sia, Tonga and Sumi. Like just three of them. Like I'm sure I'm probably forgetting like so, so many other artists and groups and everything, but my brain is functioning at highest capacity right now. It's not much today. I, I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna have to go with it. <laughs> Anyways, where I was trying to go with that is that I think pre-releases with a music video and actually like promoting the song on, on music shows and stuff is such a genius move because like, it obviously creates more hype around the actual comeback, but also it is allowing the artist to showcase more of the album before it actually dropping. And I feel like pre-releases is kind of like the solution to, you know, the fans and everything wishing for a song to have a music video. That or is also the solution to me when you know you listen to the album and you think, oh, this other song could have been also a title track material. Because like if I look at Dum Dum, like this pre-release is probably one of the catchiest of this year. Like <laughs> I found myself sometimes just like going on about my day and just suddenly the chorus like starts playing in my head randomly and I didn't even ask for it and it just starts and I'm like Damn. And now before getting into the reaction that I have to let you know that I did partner up with Soulbox for this month and so if you guys would love to get like your hands on a monthly subscription box or quarter or annually or whatever of Korean snacks that ship to your door then you can click on the link that is in the description box below and use the code cheesyb 10 for 10% off at checkout. Alright so without any further ado I have the English captions on XOXO. Let's go. Oh. Oh ho. Now, that's a douchey move. Also, who- <laughs> The energy that this is giving me already. That's right. Damn, she's flexible though. What is it with YG artists or like YG back label destroying cars? Damn, this is giving me so like little uh, like little mix vibes. Oof. Facial expressions, oh my god. Oh my god! She did that! I love, I love. Everything's going shit. If that's not my life right now. Mm. Is that her dad? Oh, the dog is like... Oh, 
Like you know in, Cor in Korean they say like Kejachik or something? Is that what it is? Oh. So that's the right. He was the guy in the in the last music video in Dum, right? Dum Dum. That's just so stunning. Okay. Let me put it out of the way immediately. This is a vessel. Hands down. It is, to me, kind of like, how should I put it? This has so much personality. I think this is something that I brought up last time already. It is definitely like a, a debate that is going on, you know, like how some parts of the song kind of like reminded people of Blackpink and whatnot, you know. Obviously a lot of people had a lot of different opinions and everything, you know, like it's natural. To me, this song definitely feels like hers entirely. Even though she did that little you know, wink, wink to to uh, solo by by Jenny. I still felt like the identity of this song really felt hers, if that makes sense. And yes, to me, by far, this is her best song. I love the fact that the music video is connected to the last one. You know, I love seeing like a thread, like a red thread, that is yet to be completed. Since at the end they did say that it is to be continued. You know, so I love seeing this red thread being created. You know, I like this. And like as expected, the music video quality, the budget, and that was put into it and everything is like superb. Is she doing a reference to like, it's, it's, what is it? Since it's soon to be Halloween or whatever, is she doing at the beginning like a mix of uh, Harley Quinn and what's that movie where like there's a dude who's like hammering down uh, uh, a door and suddenly he's like, you know, creeping his face. I don't remember what it is. I love how aesthetically pleasing everything is, but like underneath is like super somber. Like she literally just killed her ex-boyfriend in her head, obviously. But still, I'm sorry, but I'm rewatching the music video, right? And like, she's trashing her ex-boyfriend's place. But aren't they in like high school or something? Which high schooler has a place like this? I mean, I know it's like, fictional and everything, but damn. Oh, somehow the aesthetic of the music video, I mean, the, the cinematography of this really reminds me of the Lock of Sick Girls music video. So I would love to know if the same director worked on the music videos. Cause you know how there's like some angles or like some, some of the lighting and everything. I feel like it's like super reminiscent of that specific music video. It's like, I know that you guys don't like necessarily to call her a YG artist since she is under the black label. And so I'm really making this difference, but the way I see it is still under the same umbrella, kind of, you know, like they work together, like they're friends, they're close to each other and everything. So I would consider her still as like under the same umbrella of, of like a YG artist, you know what I mean? And even though she's under the black label, I guess what I'm trying to say with that is that there are so many parts of the music video where I was like, this is a YG music video. You know what I mean? Like destroying a car with a hammer, uh, the desert, like there's desert everywhere in music videos for like YG, you know? All of YG artists has at least one music video in a desert. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm just saying it like that, but I'm pretty sure there's one for each of them. Does Icon has one? Wait, sorry. So I know Big Bang has one for like, what is it? Was it a love song? I think Big Bang was love song. Technically 21 is like an anime or whatever, but I think of Hate You. Blackpink has, um, wait. I mean, Lisa has La Lisa in desert. Blackpink has the teaser pictures taken in the desert. Uh, Winner has So So. I don't know if Icon has one. I know they have a lot of roads in their music videos, but I don't know if there's like a desert. Hmm. I don't know if Akmu has them either. Wait, I'm sorry, I went under... 
the impression that there was a desert everywhere, but maybe not. I don't know. Bottom line to me, this music video screams YG. I don't know. She's like the modern age Barbie, you know, like she's just so freaking stunning and everything. But at the same time, she's giving off such like, what is it? A teen rom-com type of vibe that is so reminiscent of those old movies in my in my opinion and like she's giving me throwback i don't know why because like she's younger than me but still she's bringing back this vibe that of those old rom-com like teen movies and everything and i love it don't call me a bitch your girl she's the bitch like oof i mean i don't know if the lyrics are based on her actual experience and if it is i'm so sorry for her but at the same time, I'm glad that she realizes that she's the bitch. <laughs> I don't get mad, I get evil. I freaking love. Like, this is d definitely giving me the whole Halloween type of thing, type of vibe, you know? Also, this is kind of like, use this as a warning for the future, right? Don't make that mistake with her, basically. <laughs> yeah, to go back to what I said about low mix or whatever, I feel like the, the music video, the energy of this kind of reminds me of the, um, shout out to my ex type of thing. I mean, it's obviously not the same story or whatever, I don't know. She just gave me that very English pop vibe for whatever reason. And I personally love it, so like, I don't care at all. Like she, oh, this is also giving me Taylor Swift. Maybe it's the whole X thing that gives me Taylor Swift. I don't know. Bottom line, I loved it. I think this is her best song by far, her best music video as well. So like, this was great. Like this was actually really, really great. I loved it. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.